Hallelujah. Let Lord Jesus Christ shine forth. Good evening, good afternoon, or good morning, wherever you are joining us. Welcome to another live stream with DCCI Ministries. And tonight is the night where we will having open Skype for question answer, discussions, thoughts, just making sure everyone gets their freedom of speech and practice it. But before I do so, let me put the comments on so we can see if everything is working. Peace of Christ be with you with Phil, 37 different Arabic Qurans and Matthew. 37 different Arabic Qurans, I don't want to be the heartbreaking one, but I am assuming very soon we will have extra couple of more Qurans. The question is, do we need them or we don't need them? I don't know, but we will see. So, I am assuming that some of you are upset and disappointed as you are hearing what is happening in France. And those of you who live in Britain must be upset what is happening in Croydon or what's happening with the coronavirus around the world. You might be disappointed, upset, sad, even angry. But essential for us to remember is King of Kings, Lord Jesus Christ is still on the throne, still on the throne and he rules and reigns. Um, so in in France, uh, very close to Charlie Hebdo office, old office, um, there are two uh, stabbings. Sorry, there is a stabbing. Um, there is a Turkish message in my chat. Um, there is a um, stabbing very close to Charlie Hebdo's old office and two people are um two people are injured and it's been treated as anti-terrorism so we don't know much about it but um something is happening in croydon a police officer was um killed on on the job and apparently numbers regarding the coronavirus is going higher so lockdowns are happening or limitations of life is happening but we do remember lord jesus christ is still on the throne still on the throne so while there is <coughs> while there is some upsetting things i think let me start with something funny and then i hope you will find it funny as well and then i do hope that um from that we will pick up where we left yesterday and then let people to call in if anyone wants to call in so i i do hope you will find this is funny but i don't know so well, i'm gonna play very short clip and those of you i um okay if you are already struggling to understand my accent you will be struggling to understand what is being said okay therefore this is a warning that you need to give extra attention um, because it is different English accent. I don't know which part of the England, but um, so a friend, a friend just sent it to us. Um, so listen very carefully because it's supposed to be funny. Like I, it makes me laugh, but I do hope that you will find it funny as well. But all it needs to be is like just needs to get a little bit your attention. Okay. So are we ready? Actually, let, where are the comments? Comments gone. Okay, let me put, play this first. How are you? Another beautiful day in Dublin. Listen, I was in town earlier on <laughs> and I was in Domes and I picked up this a fly killer and I said to the young who was packing the shelves, I said, is this any good for wasps? <laughs> no, he said, <laughs> it kills them. <laughs> Dublin. <laughs> um, 
I I was gonna check where the Dublin is, but anyway, so there is a place called Dublin. <laughs> There is a place called Dublin, and this brother, <laughs> this brother, <laughs> this brother goes and then buys the, buys something that killed the wolves. <laughs> okay, that Dublin is in Ireland. Thank you, Phil. And um, and then um, he asks if <laughs> if this wolves uh, was killer is like good or not good and then guy says it's not good because it kills them <laughs> because it kills them it's so funny i hope i hope you thought it was funny it was funny it was funny um so that's just like ice breaking thing before we start um it was this wasn't a joke but yes you are very welcome to make joke malaysian profit um, okay, I'm gonna play that again because it is funny. Okay, D listen this time again and very, very carefully. This is from Dublin Island. Okay, let's listen once again. How are you? Another beautiful day in Dublin. Listen, I was in town earlier <laughs> and I was in Domes and I picked up this of fly killer and I said to the uncle who was packing the shelves, I said, Is this any good for wasps? No, he said, it kills them. <laughs> <laughs> I love Dublin. <laughs> um, I think it is funny. I, I would be very, very disappointed if you thought it was, <laughs> if you thought it wasn't funny, beloved ones. It was funny, okay? So that's the first one. Let me put the second one on. Um, second one is not funny, uh, but second one is a bit interesting. It is uh, apparently in the full context. Thank you. Um, per, uh, in full context, a woman who is not well goes to see this a religion teacher um, and then ask religion teacher to kind of heal her okay so here's here's the how the healing in islam works okay let's let's watch this this is not funny okay first one yes it was funny this is disturbing but let's let's watch this this was actually um so those of you who already were that um um who are where that on our channel um so you can't put youtube links and i have to delete i have to delete the um youtube links comes as a spam and then i have to delete them and i was deleting them in the morning and then i noticed there was a link from a brother who i know i clicked the link and then this clip came so i just thought oh let me watch and see what it is um so now i thought i'll share with you Let's get ready. As I said, this is not funny one. This is not funny one. Dunya, dunya. Ya Allah. Khush yam khoo. He's haraka makam. Ya Allah, the mal bukliya. Oh, amaliyati kwaibil. Ya Allah. Ya Allah, the wudku rajim. Wa nunazilu min al Quran ma wa shifaa wa rahmatu lil mu'minin wa la yazidu dawalimina illa khasara ba izni khwaib. أي دماء كجيل أي بكرياء لا هرزية شيء بإذني خوي بإذني ما يعلمني نيا كباب إذا هذا كان عزوا عم هزني ما خوي أقول لك إذا كم سأك وأقول لك شناك كم حياة ما بيننا أو في صدق سيء يا الله خوي بنا I told you that this wasn't funny this wasn't funny so um religion leader religion leader and you can guess which religion's leader is the person is simply says oh god of quran heal her with the love of your prophet and heal her because only you can and then starts reading surah 17 verse 82 on her so that she can get healed you can get to see this 
slaps and then he even puts his finger in her mouth um, so that she can get healed. I find I find it was disturbing, but I thought I do share with you. So first one was funny, but second one was disturbing. And of course, I'm not gonna name the religion because I will be called racist. I will be called racist, and no one wants to be. No one wants to be called racist in this broken world, especially if you are being racist against an ideology which is not even a race. But that's different topic. So, what the plan is tonight? Let me put write down what is our Skype ID. If anyone wants to call in, that you can do so. Um, okay, there is good geography lesson is going in the chat. Belfast is in Ireland as well. So this is our skype id if anyone has a questions comments thoughts or anything you would like to share you are very much welcome to call in and then express that have a discussion debate or simply or simply express your thoughts Actually, there is another video we will be looking at probably next week on um, what is the Islamic teaching on how do you deal um, how do you deal with anger, but that's like something different. But um, we will come to similar conclusion on how as we saw how um, the person is being beaten. So, what I'm gonna do is because I'm practicing my kindness what i will do is i am gonna turn on the topic which we were discussing yesterday and then pick it up from there and then see if anyone wants to tell us the beauty of ah i pressed the wrong thing beauty of surah 2 230 And then share the comments because let me put the surah 230 on the screen. And those of you who were watching us yesterday, um, and those of you who weren't watching us yesterday, um, so um, we talked about um, surah 200. Surah 2, 230, and we talked about how do you reconcile a marriage. Actually, what is the wisdom of Allah on reconcil reconciling marriage if you are being divorced for the third time? And then we try to understand the wisdom of Allah. And those of you who were with us yesterday, you probably noticed that we went to Facebook page, which was called... Um, Halala Services UK, anyone remembers that? So in that website, um, there was a place where you kind of ask questions. It was a place called like, how can we help? In that place, I, um, I clicked one of the um, points, which was like, if you remember, there were some objections, sorry, some um, already kind of pre pre written questions and then you pick which one. So I I think I clicked the one which was um, asking about how much was the service stuff. Um, so I did that yesterday on Facebook and it's been 24 hours. I think they are very much busy because I have not received any answer yet. Um, I'm feeling very disappointed. Good thing is it's not an emergency that we are not hunting for. We are not hunting for um, uh, what is it called, halala husband. But if it was emergency, 
it was if it was emergency i think 24 hours is already already and already too long That lady you spoke to today was so delusional, saying that people misinterpreted the verse. Uh, which lady and how do you know who I spoke to today? Are you like, stuck? <laughs> are you like following me or something? Uh, the lady you spoke today. I have no idea what you are talking about in this. Uh, sentence but i would be so much disappointed that um not disappointed actually i would be very much stressed if you already know who i spoke to today and what i spoke to um anyway i think this this kind of sentence needs to be unpacked a little bit because I'm not following this conversation. Thirty-seven different Arabic crumbs. I am strongly feeling right now, even though my feelings are not meta. I'm strongly feeling that I will. I will be firing you from being admin if you are already thinking about halala stuff oh okay got it okay thanks thanks Steve for the okay so got it that was that was Sunday not even yeah that was um that was two weeks ago no that was Anyway, that was one of the Sunday. Uh, we did ask the question on um, Surah 230. I think that's the one. Um, and then um, lady was lady told us this verse has been misinterpreted and misused. Yes, thanks for bringing my mind my mind to things sometimes. <laughs> Sorry, because I, I schedule those videos and I don't know when do they go up. Therefore, it can be difficult to, it can be difficult to remember. Especially like I have, like when you say like the lady you spoke, I'm just like, wow, that's a bit creepy. How do you know who I spoke to? But let me read the verse and then we take it from there. Oh, sorry, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. So Surah 2, 230. And if he has divorced her for the third time, which is not in Arabic, then she's not lawful to him afterward until after she marries a husband other than him. And if the late husband divorces her or dies, there is no blame upon the woman and her former husband for returning to each other. If they think that they can keep the lim keep within the limits of Allah. There are the limits of Allah which He makes clear to a people who know. So that was the Quranic verse which made us to go back to uh, made us to made us go back to Surah um, not Surah actually made us go back to. Um, uh, Facebook page which is called Halala Service UK remember and then we even saw like uh, potential um, individuals who wanted to apply they were like 36 years old um, 36 years old 41 years old and we even had like healthy good educated people Um, thank you, Nada. I will pass that to the daughter of Christ. 
as you can see, daughter of Christ is not here. She is having life without me. So, um, the questions I'm asking, I guess, basic questions in the lines of, in the lines of Allah, who is, according to Muslims, capable to create human and our body works amazing the way your body functions it's like so awesome that already shows Allah is if Allah is the creator anyway according to Muslims that's already identifies Allah as a as a good guy clever guy who knows what he's talking about and from that that Allah who is so clever full of wisdom and his merciful also identified according to Islam in somehow gives the solution to reconciling the marriage if you are divorced going and marrying someone else I am struggling with it I'm finding that's a bit very much disturbing I'm finding that much that very much and very much and very much disturbing but um, I think we noticed from yesterday there was a denial game as well as there was a silent game Okay, this is very much heartbreaking question from Prophet Gogol. Dear Prophet Gogol, if you tell me that because Allah has two right, right hands, therefore Allah's creativity skill is very bad, that will be racist. You will be called Islamophobia. Okay, so therefore I think we need to form the question differently. We need to fall into this political correctness you don't want to call islamophobia do you want to call islamophobia prophet google your name explains it all but but you won't want to be called islamophobia so therefore <laughs> and you don't even want to be called racist towards allah therefore therefore we will be asking the question where is allah's left hand Allah doesn't have left hand because Allah thinks left hand is dirty let me just call this individual back sorry that person called and then I'm just gonna call the person back and then we take it from there your person Okay, the person who called in is not answering. That's absolutely fine. He can call back. That's absolutely fine. He can call back. Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. Who are you? Hello. Who are you, sir? Yeah, do you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. No, I, I had a question. Um, can you tell us who are you, sir? I'm Marcus. And? and are um, you Muslim? Are you Christian? No, I just uh, thought you were scared to answer this question. Oh. So you already know my heart. That's already great. Yes, I do. Okay, explain. Tell me about my heart. And then after that, Tell me if you are Muslim, if you are Christian, and what is your question? Well, um, 
my question is um, serious question. I was wondering, was um, <laughs> Prophet Muhammad uh, Sharmuta? Sorry. Was Prophet Muhammad a Sharmuta? I don't know what is that word means, sir. It's um, it's a, it's a, you don't know that you don't understand what that is. I don't know what is so. I don't know what is the word means. Oh, it's like um, you know, someone that uh, uh, I guess gets money in exchange for uh, favors. Um, pronounce the word again. Sharmuta. Sharmuta. Can you unpack the word for me once again? Sure, Sharmuta. I think that's how you pronounce it. Okay. Can you can you unpack the word for me again? Because I don't know, I don't know the meaning of the word. I am not um, first lang sure. first language English sure. speaker. Sir, are you there? Yes. Okay, I am expecting you to unpack the meaning of the word for me. And then also, I am ex And he hanged up. He hanged up. That's absolutely fine. That's absolutely fine. So, we wanted to know we wanted to know what is that word mean i don't know what is the word mean therefore i cannot command the word i don't understand but i can guess i can see some people are in the chat already knows what is the word mean and if person wants to call the prophet muhammad and wants to use the such a word for prophet muhammad it is absolutely fine but let me pick up Hello. Hello. Is this Hatton? Um, hello, sir. Who are you? Are you Muslim? Are you Christian? And how can I help you? Ali. Sir, can you hear I, me? I'm in Indonesia. Sir, can you hear me? Hello. Yeah, babe, I can hear you. Okay. Um. Are you Muslim? Are you Christian? What is your name and how can I help you? I I'm consider myself as agnostic. And yeah, I, I want to talk about your first, like uh, Quran 2, 230. You're talking about the the wife, right? The woman in, in Islam. Is that correct? Um, sir, what's your name? Uh, I cannot tell my name because I'm in Indonesia. Probably they will kill me. Okay, I'll call you Mr. Muslim. Um, okay, I'm Muslim by the way. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not Muslim. Okay, but, I, yeah. If you didn't, if you didn't give me your name, I'll I, I'll call you Mr. Muslim. You expressed okay. you are agnostic. Are okay. you are you agnostic from uh, what what religion did you born into? Uh, I'm born in Christian. In Indonesia, yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay, so I want to ask about this two to thirty. Yes. So is this talking about muta? I think I think the previous guy also asking about muta. Um, he was using word um, shehurma, uh, sheh muta. I didn't know what it means. Um, maybe he meant sheh muta, but I don't know what it means. So, um. Surah 2, 230. Do you have access to YouTube, sir? Yeah, I have. Yes, okay. I have. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the verse on the screen. And then if you can explain the verse to us, that will be very, very helpful for us. Um, sorry. The verse... There is something not working well with 
um i don't think verse is gonna be on youtube okay verse is on youtube so um yes surah 2 230 is on the screen if you can explain to us as someone who is agnostic um, about this verse that will be helpful and then I'll ask you some questions mm -hmm. are you ready sir yeah yeah I'm ready yes would you like me to read it or you are happy to read it to us sorry I, I guess there's a delay here so I think like 15 second delay so should okay. I read the Sahi International or yeah, Sai International is fine. I do have access to Sai International. Okay. And if, if I'm sorry if my English is bad, but yeah. And if he has divorced her for the third time, then she is not lawful to him. Afterward, until after she marries a husband other than him. And if the latter husband divorces her or dies, there is no blame upon the woman and her former husband for returning to each other if they think that they can keep within the limits of Allah. These are the limits of Allah, which he makes clear to a people who know. Yes, what is happening in this verse, sir? okay so at least at least in this verse so a woman the woman need to marry another guy to to be able to return to to the previous husband is that correct so um do you see do you see any problem in this verse Mm, yeah, yeah, of course. I, I mean, I, I mean, I'm also against, against Islam, so I, I, I see a lot of issue here. Actually. So what are the issues you are seeing? But before we move to issues you are seeing, can I get to mm -hmm. can can I get to hear from you that Muhammad is false prophet, Islam is false religion? Yeah, yeah I think Muhammad is false prophet. Definitely. Islam is false religion? Yep. Allah is false God? Um, I, I'm not sure. I mean, it, maybe Allah is the same God like Christian, but I'm not sure. But yeah. Allah, Allah is not the uh, same God with Christian God. I will explain that once we finish this topic. Um, so, can you tell me what is your problems with Surah 2, 230? And what is the what does this verse implies to humans and especially to the woman mm. so you wanted to talk so, about the verse i'll give you the platform uh mr muslim to talk about the verse if that's okay so in this verse so um, it it like allow the woman to have multiple husbands basically I think. Why do you why do you find that's a problem? Would you like me to no. unpack the verse for you, sir? Okay, okay, please. So, if a husband divorces his wife, okay, for the third time, that's according to the Muslim interpretation. It is not in Arabic. If the husband divorces the wife for the third time only way husband and wife can come together reconcile that marriage if the woman goes and have sex with someone else and that person divorces the woman and then woman can and is allowed to come back the first husband so i'll put it in practice one day your father and your mother had an argument, okay? Your father turned to your mother and then said, talak, 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 I divorce you, I divorce you, I divorce you. 
and your father had already divorced your mom twice before. At this occasion, once once your father kind of start banging his head to the wall with being regret what he's done, he cannot simply get chocolate or flowers to your mother to ask her to come back. She must go and sleep, have a sex with a stranger and that stranger must divorce her so that she can, your mom, can come back to your father. Okay, so for the third time, uh, I mean, this part is Tala. Sorry? So in the first sentence, for the third time, is is it talking about Talak? Talak, yes. First time is the Talak, second time is the Talak, third time is the Talak as well. Okay. So can I get your feelings about the verse, sir? You wanted to talk about the verse, but right now you are quite silent. Yeah, so my question about this verse is, is this about the muta? This is identified in Islamic circle as halala marriage. Muta marriage is Surah 4, the... Surah 4 verse 24 with the Surah 5, 87, 89. So that's the uh, muta marriage. This is halala marriage. So muta is different than halal marriage. So in halala marriage, husband and wife wants to come back together, but they have been divorced third time. Wife needs to go and have sex with someone else so that she can come back to her husband, her first husband. That's halala marriage. Okay, it is in a way of reconciling the marriage. Muta marriage is when you find a woman, you go to woman and then you say, oh, how would you feel being marrying with me for two nights and then I'll pay you for that 50 pounds or I will pay you a box of ice cream and then they have sex for two nights. And then when the two night is over, that so-called marriage is over. That's called muta marriage. Oh, sorry. It's not talking about muta. I mean, this first. Surah 2, 230 is talking about halala marriage. Okay. Okay. And both of them are ugly. Halala marriage is very much ugly taking the value, dignity, and honor of wife, honor, value, and dignity of your mother because your father thought it was all right to divorce her and thought Allah thought it was all right for your mother to go and sleep with a stranger. I am using the word sleep, but in the context, it is talking about have sex with a stranger. And then it even gives you the pr practical descriptions. Okay, so I, I have the, the same question like the previous guy. Did Muhammad also practice muta? Okay, uh, did you understand that this verse is not talking about muta? This verse is talking about halala. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, did, did Muhammad yeah. practice muta? Mm -hmm. Um, he ordered he ordered people to practice it. He ordered people to practice it, but um, I'm not sure I'm not sure if I can give you a yes answer at this stage or no answer at this stage. Okay, okay.
So, um, can you tell me your thoughts? So, you called in the intention to, um, you called in the intention to share your thoughts, but. No, I, I think I, I call, I call you just to improve my knowledge, actually. Okay, so, um, I, someone just sent me a couple of hadith. I'm going to read them to you if that's okay with you. That probably will help you to put the things in a context. Okay? Okay. okay. And then also, um, I think, uh, beloved ones in the chat who helped with the previous, uh, previous um, um, callers vocabulary were right because I just got the definition in here, which I will read that as well. Um, so, sir, you said you have access to um, you have access to YouTube. So I will also put the hadith on YouTube for you to see it. Okay. So there are a couple of okay. there are a couple of hadiths are gonna come. Okay. So first one. Okay. Okay, it was narrated. Sorry, yeah, it was narrated. Sorry, um, someone is calling in while I am on the phone call. Dear, a uh, person who called previously to, to talk about what was the job of Muhammad is calling in. I'm just gonna wait that person to hang up. Um, sorry about that, sir. I'll j let me put the hadith okay. again because once someone calls in, all the screen just changes so quickly. Um, sorry. So on the screen, I've got the hadith. Couple of hadith, I'm gonna read it to you, and then we will hopefully we will make sense them all. Okay. Okay. First one is. It was narrated from Abdullah bin Umar that the messenger of Allah said the most hated of permissible things to Allah is divorce. Sunnah ibn Majah, hadith number 2096, identified as the Sahih hadith. The most hated of permissible things to Allah is divorce. Okay, that's a bit strange because last time when I checked, Muhammad divorced his wives. But let me see. Let's click the next hadith. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. So, next hadith is <coughs> from again Sunnah Abu Dawud identified as Sahih. Narrated Umar bin Khattab, the Prophet divorced Hafsa, but he took her back in marriage. Prophet divorced Hafsa and took her back. Hafsa is the daughter of Hafsa is the daughter of um, Umar. Okay. Is this also Sahih? Yes, what is it, the, the... yeah, that was that was the Sahih as well. Uh, Sahih, sorry, can you well, what what is the hadith? Had, it was what Abu Dawood. So which one stronger, Abu Dawood or Ibn Majah? So first one I read it to you was from Ibn Majah, mm -hmm. which was saying the um the most hated permissible things to Allah is divorce. Okay. Okay. That's the first one. Second one I read it to you was stating Muhammad divorced his wife, then he took her back. That is comes from Abu Dawood, hadith number 2276. Okay? Okay. And then let me read another one. Okay. So the next one I'm reading to you, sir, is from... Again, Abu Dawood, 
hadith number 5138 okay a, wo a woman was my wife and i loved her but umar hated her he said to me divorce her but i refused umar then went to prophet and mentioned that to him and the prophet said divorce her this is very sad one I man see. and wife they love one another because umar doesn't like the wife umar doesn't like the wife uh, ask men to divorce the wife and he says no excuse me i'm not gonna divorce her i love her but but since he doesn't divorce umar goes to muhammad and then tells muhammad and muhammad simply doesn't care if the husband and wife loves one another he says divorce her and it is the same uh, book which talks about actually that was Umajar. um hadith talks about most hated thing one of the most hated thing was to allah is divorce okay yet muhammad encourages people to divorce their wife and muhammad himself divorces wife and surah 2 230 steps in and then gives this ugly practice if you divorce your wife third time your wife needs to go and have sex with someone else Do you, are you right. aware that is this practice in uh, Indonesia? Because Indonesia is very big Muslim population. No, they don't. They don't. How yeah, do you know? They don't. Yeah. How do you know? So? Uh, I mean, I live here in my entire life. I I never see that. You never seen it. So you express yeah. that you are from Christian family, yet you are agnostic. How do you think you will know about halala marriages and? Uh, muta marriages i watch your videos i watch uh, shabir ali david wood i watch everyone actually so because you watch the video is therefore you are sure that this is not practiced in indonesia yeah hmm. have you got any other com um let me um make another comment um regarding something you said okay uh, okay and then um, I'll, I'll give the mic to you um, and then see, and then see, um, hear your reasoning why you are agnostic. So um, I did ask you if you can verbalize to me that Muhammad is false prophet, which you did. And yeah. then you expressed that yeah. Islam, is the, Islam is the yeah. false religion. Yep, yep. Yeah. And then I did ask you if you can verbalize for me that Allah is false God. And you made um, a claim which I find it was very disturbing to me. You said you are not sure if Allah and Yahweh, if Allah, God of Islam, and the God of Christianity is the same. I it's must... not disturbing actually. I mean, it, I just don't know, right? Okay, you don't know. But it's not disturbing come again i mean yeah you can explain you can explain okay do you believe god of islam and god of christianity is the same or you are not sure i'm not sure you are not sure so yeah. what are the things makes you think that you are not sure mm. How, so um have you started because i don't know the reference have you studied Islam, sir? Hello. Sir, have you studied Islam? Hello. Yeah, I spent a uh, lot of, I mean, maybe like one or two years. Okay. So, I'll, since you studied Islam and then you come from the Christian, you come fr from Christian family, and um, yet okay. you, choose, you choose to be agnostic. So I'll ask you some questions and then we do question answer. 
um, part. Okay. So, God of Christian scripture, okay, identified as Father, Son, and Spirit. Father is loving his Son before the foundation of the world in the fellowship of Holy Spirit, okay? Christian scripture teaches there is one God, okay. and this God is identified as three persons, Father, Son, and Spirit. Is Allah, who is also identified God of Islam by Muslims, is Allah father to anyone, and does Allah have an eternal son? No, Allah is only one. So, um, is Allah father to anyone? No. Allah is not father to anyone, versus God of Bible is father to his son, Lord Jesus. Okay, so strike first. Allah and God of Bible cannot be the same. Does Allah have an eternal son? Yes, Allah. Uh, no. You mean, Allah you mean the doesn't God of have a son. Islam, right? Sorry? The God of Islam, they don't have. So, Allah doesn't have a son, okay? And Lord Jesus Christ is identified as the eternal Son of God, whom Father loved before the foundation of the world, okay? So, strike two. Allah and God of Christian scripture cannot be the same, okay? While, while, okay. because while Christians uh, uh, can call God and told to call God their father, okay, is Allah father to anyone? No. Okay, what is the highest place Allah offers to Muslims? Allah is the highest, highest place. So Allah is the highest place. And then what is the place Allah orders, uh, sorry, offers Muslims? Sorry, I cannot hear you clearly. So as a Christian, okay. What is? As a Christian, mm -hmm. I can call God my heavenly father. Because of Jesus, okay. Because of Jesus, who is the eternal son of God. I can call, I can call, I can be called as the sons and daughters of God, children of God, because I am adopted into his family. I am identified as the son of God, not the son, but as the sons of God, okay? Versus in God, in Islam, highest place Allah offers to Muslims is slave okay highest place allah can offer muslims is being the slave of allah slave can i can and i master get the relationship the Go, sorry can i get the reference can you get can the i reference? get the reference i mean as a slave uh mm -hmm. yeah like that's very uh Muhammad is the slave of Allah. Abdul means is already slave of Allah. Uh, uh, Surah 5 verse 18. Allah is identified uh, um, not the father to anyone. Surah 19 again. Allah is not father to anyone. Let me think about the reference where Muslims are identified as the slave of Allah. That is like very basic info. Sorry. Um. I've got to think because it's so basic, it doesn't come to my mind now. Um, my servant, my slave, let me find the verse. Sorry, sir, just give me a second. Okay, I'm afraid I'm going to... Go to Chicago to just get the reference. Okay. Uh, 
because no 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 um, never any muslim ask me for reference for that because everyone knows that's a kind of basic basic islam 101 but let me just get the reference sorry sir okay Can I ask some question while you are searching that? Um, you can, but remember, I am woman. I am not sure if I can do. Yeah, I just. I can I just do the. Ask, I can do the same to... lots of things at the same time. Oh, that okay. Needs, that needs proper As skill. A woman is not multitasking. No, that's on the movies, so. Okay. Um, but go ahead. I'm finding the reference for you. Okay, so will you go back to speaker speaker's corner next Sunday? Uh, am I planning to go to speaker's corner on Sunday? Yep. Uh, why did you ask? Yes, I am planning to go to speaker's corner every Sunday. Uh, or... Sorry? I'm just curious. Are you planning Are to go attacking to you again? I mean, I watch I watch the videos, the Muslims like attack you. And do you have a problem with that? I'm just ask, I'm just curious. Will you go back to the speaker's corner or what will you do? Um, yes, I will go. I will attend the speaker's corner because speaker's corner is the place where individuals would go and practice their freedom of speech that looks like they they don't they don't agree with your freedom of speech uh, why wouldn't they agree with my freedom of speech mm, i agree i i agree with them with their freedom of speech i guess because they're too sensitive well, if they if they do not agree with my freedom of speech, then they shouldn't practice their freedom of speech. And if they cannot handle very basic freedom of speech, they shouldn't um, they shouldn't come to speaker's corner. While Allah practice uh, his freedom of speech and attacking my faith, attacking my God, and attacking me why I shouldn't practice my freedom of speech. Anyway, I think I need to get that reference to you, sir. Do you mind if I email? I can I cannot find um I it verse doesn't come to my mind like which verse because that is very basic knowledge. Um Muslims are the slave of Allah but the which which verse in six thousand two hundred thirty six verses doesn't come to my mind, but Surah 518, Surah 19 talks about um, Allah's father to no one. Um, I okay, think that, uh, uh, that you, can, you can leave it in the sky. Yeah. So, sorry about that, because like it never, I don't think ever any Muslim asked me because they know um, um, they know they are slaves of Allah. That's the highest place they can get, but reference doesn't come to me. Verse Abdul means even being slave, so <coughs> so, <coughs> um, so um, I give you I give you a couple examples why Allah and God of Bible is not the same. Okay, let me give you a couple of more examples, and then I will ask you give me your reason why you become agnostic. Okay, um, while while God of Bible is identified. A God who is relational, okay, um, mm -hmm. from the creation, 
uh, when God creates Adam and Eve, he communicates with them. He speaks to them. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I've got the, I've got the reference. Thank you, Jay. Uh, reference is, <laughs> this is the verse I was thinking about. Allah is not father to anyone. Um, Surah 19, verse 93, 88 to 93, okay? Um, that's the um, slave-master relationship between um, Muslims and uh, Muslims and Allah. Surah 19, 88? Surah uh, 19, verse 88 to 93. Okay. 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 Um, in my mind, this verse was different. This is the verse where Allah is father to no one in my mind. Sorry. In the beginning, when God creates first man and woman, God communicates with them. God spends time with them. Okay. God expresses his relational God with them. When Adam and, when Adam and Eve, in the presence of God, God gives them the principles and rules for them to live happily after. Once they choose to practice their own way okay mm -hmm. god steps in and then asks the question where are you versus at the beginning when allah creates adam okay allah doesn't okay. even create adam and eve okay in um, equal okay allah creates adam in his image Versus if is not created in the image of Allah. Allah deceives Adam regarding what are the things they can do in the garden and what are the things they cannot do. Once Adam uh, eats from the fruit or when the woman eats from the fruit, okay, they see Allah deceive them and then Allah cast them in the, into the, this world. Allah is not relational. Allah doesn't even care about his people. So that's the second point. While Christian God is identified holy, okay, we don't get to see that Allah is holy in any form or any shape. As you look at the uh, place what Allah offers the people in paradise, that paradise even not holy at all. But I think one of the essential thing why Allah and Yahweh, God of Christian scripture, are not the same, because God of Christian scripture has a son. Before the foundation of the world, Father is loving his son. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit sees the human heart sees the human condition as the people are trying to run away from God, as people try to reject God, Father sends his one and only Son, Lord Jesus Christ, that one and only Son, Lord Jesus Christ, live among us, share lives with people, and he gave himself on the cross for people who he know one day they might reject him. So God of God of Christian scripture express his love with the death and resurrection of son. Okay? Versus versus and with his death and resurrection, Christians are offered offered place wherever Jesus is, okay? Jesus comes from the bosom of the Father. So Christians are offered place, or let me verbalize this, those who ex uh, accept Jesus as the Son of God and believe in him are offered place in the bosom of the Father. Versus, versus, Allah looks down and pre-plans people to sin, Allah pre-plans hell to send human beings to hell alongside of the jinn. Allah doesn't even do anything for human being. Allah doesn't even express his love to human being. Allah doesn't have a son who can give his life for human beings. 
Allah cannot give his life for human beings. Allah just stands back and watch people while they are in this broken world. Christian scripture simply tells us God is love because we know what God was doing before there was anything. Before there were trees, before they were clouds, before they were there was a creation. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit were having fellowship, having loving fellowship with one another. Therefore, I would find it's very much insulting if an individual simply states to me that Allah and Yahweh, God of Islam and God of Bible, is the same. They are not the same. Okay. Um, okay. Can, can I can I give my argument here? Yes, please. Okay. So my understanding is, Muhammad was a merchant, right? And Islam is like hundred years after after Christian at that time, right? And so uh, my understanding is Muhammad like get everyone and. Oh. Sorry, sir. So, so you cut. For example, so, drop, right? so like, you you cut off. Can, do you mind repeating that your last sentence for me? Okay. So Muhammad was a merchant, and he got the information from a lot of people, right? And and Muhammad dropped some some of information. For example, he dropped the the claim of the Jesus as a God, for example, or the Son of God. And and he used term Allah, which in Arabic means God, as a refer uh, as a reference to to Christian God. Basically, Islam is like copy paste from Christian, and he used the term Allah as re reference to Yahweh, but he modified some informations there. For example. Um, he removed the the claim of the Jesus as a God in John John chapter one verse number one and a lot of a lot of place actually so that's why I'm I'm not, I cannot I'm not sure if if the Allah is is, is the Yahweh in Christian because the Islam basically copy paste from Christian and use the the term Allah reference to Yahweh in Christian. So, um, I didn't focus on the name, even though according to Christian scripture, God has personal name and that name is very important to him. Exodus chapter 3, he gives his personal name and then says, this is my name forever. We pronounce that as Yahweh. Um, Allah was one of the pagan gods in the time of Muhammad. But I focused on their character. I focused on uh, who they are in essence, who they are in characters. Um, I am very much aware that in, for example, in Arabic Bibles or in Bibles in Muslim majority countries, the term Allah used in the Bible. But that Allah has an eternal son called Jesus. That Allah sends his son to die on the cross. So it's I'm I'm I didn't focus on the just the names, I focused on their character. Even Arab Christians or Turkish Christians, the moment when you tell them Allah, they second thing they will tell you is Jesus is the son of Allah. So they use that name, but I, I, th their understanding is God is still triune God. That's very, that's very much different than Islamic understanding of God. And it is very much shame that in the Quran, Allah claims Allah and God of Bible is the same. But in reality, actually, no, that is not the same at all. Um, so can I ask you, um, I, did, I, I did tell you I will give you um time to speak to me regarding you expressed that you were born in um a christian family in indonesia but today you are agnostic can i ask you why are you agnostic 
Mm, I think because I'm questioning about um, about Trinity. Because you, we know the Ten Commandments um, say like no God Yahweh, right? I mean the first commandment. Uh, we we shall have no other God other than Yahweh. Right? And so the Trinity we have the clear distinction uh, when Jesus prayed to Yahweh. Right? So yeah, I'm I'm questioning that. So I, I prefer to to stop and to do more research before I commit to something. And that's my current step. So um how old are you, sir? I am almost uh, almost twenty-eight. Almost twenty-eight. Okay. Um can you point me to the reference? Where, where Jesus is praying to Yahweh. Okay, let me find. I am, I am, I am hearing the tapping, so I am guessing you are going to Google. Yep. Can I? Uh, um, like, I would expect you to have the quick reference, but if you want to go to Google, please do so. So I'm looking for the reference where Jesus is praying to Yahweh. I also don't remember the reference here, but okay. uh, um, yeah, I, I think it's in Matthew or or John either, either. I'm guessing I'm guessing you are talking about the passage, okay, where Jesus mm. is in the Garden of Gethsemane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, that's Matthew chapter twenty six, okay. In that passage. Oh. Jesus is not praying to Yahweh. Jesus is praying to his father. So, Isn't as, the father is Yahweh? So, as a Christian, as a Christian, I'll tell you what I believe. I believe there is only one God. Okay? Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4. There is only one God. And he that's his essence. Okay? He is one. Yet, this God is identified as three persons. Okay, not the beings, three persons. One person is Father, second person is the Son, and the third person is the Spirit. Are you listening or are you typing something for me? Uh, I'm listening. So okay. all of them, all of them is Yahweh, or so, or only the Father. So. Father is identified as Yahweh, Son is identified as Yahweh, and Spirit is identified as Yahweh. There are not three Yahwehs, there is only one Yahweh, okay? In beings, there is only one being. Persons and beings are different things. So I think that's where you are being a bit confused. So I'll yep. take you to a passage. Also, um, we did actually session on this topic um, on the DCCI channel, okay? Do check out the sessions I did with Anthony Rogers. You will benefit watching them, okay? So, but before I pass you to that, let me let me ask you basic question, okay? okay. Do you do you have a problem with son to speak to his father? Hmm. Problem with son to speak 
to his father. Yeah. I mean, if if if, if it claims they are the same object, I mean the same entity, I, then I have the problem. So um, I, I I didn't even use the word entity. I don't know where how did you come to that conclusion. So father is different person, son is different mm -hmm. person. Okay? okay, and spirit is different person. Okay. Do you have then any then, problem? Okay. Do you have no. any problem, son, to speak to father? Yes, no problem. So you have no problem with that. Good because. If then why are you bringing the objection to me when Jesus prays in the Garden of Gethsemane to his father? Jesus is not praying to himself. Jesus is praying to his father. Okay. So let me okay. bring up a couple of references for you. Okay. And then I'll tell you why scripture is forcing me to believe that God is identified as triune, okay? And the word trinity or triune okay. is not used in the Bible, but we've got the full concept of it. So, as I said, Christian scripture tells me there is only one God, okay? And Isaiah chapter 3, okay? Please write the references down and then read it in your own time. Isaiah chapter 63, Okay, talks about God who is a savior. Okay. Isaiah chapter 63. Okay, from uh, I'll pick it up from verse 7 to our son. Okay, okay. Um, actually, you can you can just read it from beginning. So, God. Okay who is who works out salvation for his people okay mm. and then same passage is talking about god who is father and who is our redeemer okay and then same chapter talks about god as the holy spirit who walks among his people okay who rest, who gives rest to the people. Isaiah chapter 63 tells me, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit identified as Yahweh, different persons. Okay? Whole three people, three persons are mentioned in Isaiah chapter 63. When I look oh, at... Where is this? I mean, the son part... Uh... Uh, the Lord, so when it says Spirit of the Lord, is it referred to Son? Or no, no, which no. part? Is okay, um, have you got the passage which, in which front of you? Which part? Have you got the passage in front of you? Yep, okay, so yeah, I, I got it. Yeah, I, 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 I read it for you. I'm assuming, as someone who born into the Christian family, you read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Would that be correct? No. Oh, yeah. you didn't. Re you haven't read the Bible as a full, uh, but you become agnostic. Yeah, that is very much. Yeah, that is very much, very much concerning. So therefore, it no, is gonna because I, like, like I said, I, I prefer to stop and do more research instead of committing to something. Yeah. So a basic thing would be is reading the Bible first. But anyway, um, we can discuss that later. So let me. Let me bring up a couple of couple of uh, phrases to your attention, and then we pick it up from there. Okay. okay, okay. Isaiah chapter sixty-three. It is I speaking in righteousness, mighty to save. Why are your garments red, like those ones who treading in wine wine press? I have trod the wine press alone from the nations. No one was with me. I trampled them in my anger and rooted them down in my wrath. Their blood spotted my garments and I stained with my clothing. For the day of vengeance was in my heart and the year of my redemption 
has come. I looked, but there was none to help. I was appalled that no one to give support. So my own arm worked salvation for me. Okay. So as I read, mm -hmm. okay, if you yeah. read the Bible so far, you should have recognized the language which has been used in Revelation chapter 19 for Lord Jesus. And then also language which has been used in Isaiah 53 verse 1. Okay. There was no mm -hmm. one but my own arm stepped in for the salvation of his people. Okay. And my own wrath sustained me. I trampled the nations with my anger. In my wrath, I made them drunk and poured their blood on the ground. From verse 7. I will tell the kindness of the Lord, the deeds for which he is to be praised, according to all the Lord has done for us. Yes, the many good things he has done for the house of Israel, according to his compassion and many kindness, he said. Surely they are my people, sons who will be who will not be the false to me. And so he came, he become their savior. He become their savior. In all their distress, he was too distressed. And the angel of his presence or messenger of his face save them so it is jesus okay from the new testament if you read the new testament you would identify this language as already as already language which has been used for lord jesus for the son of god okay and then you would identify the language of the messenger of his face from exodus chapter 3 which has been used, which has been used for the Lord. Okay, so that part is talking okay. about the Son. Verse ten. I am picking up from verse ten. Yet they rebelled, and grieved His Holy Spirit. He so Holy Spirit is a person who grieves in here. So He turned and become their enemy. And he himself fought against them. Then his people recalled the day of old, the days of Moses and his people. Where is he who brought them uh, through the sea with the shepherd of his flock? Where is he who set his Holy Spirit among them? Okay. So okay. far, if you if you knew a little bit the story of Moses, you would say, mm -hmm. oh, that is talking about Yahweh, that is talking about Lord, who okay. sent his glorious arm of power to be at Moses' right hand, who divided them to watch what, who divided the waters before them, to gain for himself everlasting renown, who led them through the depths like a horse in open country, they did not stumble. Like a cattle that go down to the plain, they were given rest by the Spirit of the Lord. So if you look at Exodus chapter 33, you will see that language is used for Yahweh, for Lord. Okay? But in here, Isaiah simply says, that is Holy Spirit. So Holy Spirit is identified as Lord. Okay? Okay? And then we already we already looked that son who is the savior and the messenger of his face is identified as Lord. And then move with me to verse 16. Okay. But you are our father. Though Abraham does not know us or Israel acknowledge us, you, O Lord, our father, our redeemer from old um, our Redeemer from of old your old is your name. So passage is telling me God is identified as Father, 
sun and spirit okay that's that's the first example second example is i am looking at the old testament okay and then uh. i'm coming coming across with a passage okay please do turn with me to genesis chapter i'm gonna say chapter 15 can you turn genesis chapter 15 with me okay 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 so mm -hmm. have you do you know someone called abraham abraham yeah abraham yeah abraham you know of him yeah okay. yep he's identified as the friend of god okay so in genesis chapter 15 okay mm -hmm. i'm gonna emphasize for you the word of God, okay, comes to Abraham, speaks to Abraham, takes Abraham outside of the tent, okay, and then Abraham identifies the word of Lord as Lord, okay, and this is the passage where Abraham is justified by faith, verse 6. So, I'm going to read the first part of the chapter, okay? Listen carefully. And after this, the word of Lord came to Abraham in a vision. Do not be afraid, Abraham. I am your shield. You are very great, re you, you, you are very great reward. But Abraham said, O sovereign Lord, what can you give me since I remain childless? And the one who will be inherited my state is Eliezer of Damascus. And Abraham, Abraham, said, Abraham said, You have given me no children, so a servant in my household will, become, will be my heir. So word of Lord comes to Abraham, speaks to Abraham in a dream. Okay, Abraham calls the word of Lord as Lord. Okay, Lord. I am, yeah. So every time when I say Lord and when it is written in the scripture with the capital, okay, I mean Yahweh. Okay. okay, so pick up verse four with me. Then the word of Lord came to him This man will not be your heir, but the son coming from your own body will be your heir. He took him outside and said look up the heavens and the count the stars if indeed you can count them then he said to him so shall your offspring be abraham believed the lord and he credited to him as righteousness he said to him i am the lord okay so where it says okay word of lord comes to abraham when it says lord of comes to abraham and speaks to abraham when it says lord of word of the lord comes to abraham and takes abraham outside of the tent when it says word of lord comes to abraham okay mm -hmm. and then expresses that he makes covenant with Abraham, give, give Abraham promises. That, and Abraham identifies him, identifies the word of Lord as Lord. Okay? That already tells me word of the, word of the Lord is identified as a person who speaks, who communicates, who takes the person outside of the tent probably they were inside before and he is called the lord okay so you've got the word of lord a distinct person from the lord okay and you come to john chapter 1 you were giving the quotation a little bit earlier in the beginning was the word do you remember that passage yeah. 
Can, yeah, so John, what does it say? One. Yeah, so what what is this verse says? In the beginning was yeah. the word, and word was with God, and word was God. Okay. Yeah. okay. Now Abraham identifies the word of God as God. Okay. Okay. Anything doesn't make sense to you, sir? Mm. So when when the when the Yahweh bring the Abraham uh, out of the tent, the word of the Lord brings Abraham outside of the tent. It is it is it Jesus or or Yahweh actually? So I mean, is it the in the form of the human or or still as a father? So father, okay, and son are different persons. So in here, it is the word of Lord appears as a physical being, okay? Abraham speaks to that. Abraham speaks to him, okay? And then he speaks to Abraham. He takes Abraham outside of the tent. And John chapter 1 tells us, the word of the Lord is Jesus, who comes and makes dwelling among us. So therefore, from the scripture, I am concluding in Genesis chapter 15, where it states the word of Lord come to Abraham. It is talking about Jesus comes to Abraham and speaks to Abraham, takes Abraham outside of the tent. Are you sorry? Okay, but I'm just curious. Uh, I mean, a son who is your oh, so, I mean, of, it, it doesn't stay this in, in the human form, right? Um, sorry, repeat for me, repeat it again for me. It doesn't stay it in the human in the flesh right sorry can you give me the full full sentence sorry sir um, can sir can you phrase your sentence for me again um i mean the father also also can become a human and bring the the abraham outside the ten right uh no uh, i mean I don't no because genesis chapter i don't 15, see it genesis chapter 15 mm -hmm. tells us the word of god comes so and word of god is identified as jesus the son not oh. the father okay okay the first, father, the father is not the one who father is not the one who reveals himself to abraham it is the son father never become a human it is it was the son who took up human nature, who become God man. Okay. Okay. So that's scripture is telling me the word of God is a person. Okay. The word of God is okay. a person who comes to Abraham, speaks to Abraham, and Abraham identifies the word of God as the as the Lord. Okay. Okay. And Gen uh, John chapter 1 tells me, John chapter 1 tells me, uh, word of Lord, word of God become, takes, uh, becomes flesh and makes his dwelling among us, that Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? So now, turn with me. Numbers. Numbers chapter 11. It is long passage. I will let you to read that in your own time. And I will ask you to have another meeting with me. Okay. So Numbers okay. chapter 11. It's actually a bit funny passage where we get to hear 
have Moses complains to God. Moses says, this is not my focus, but it's like when I talk about this passage, I love this part. Moses says to God, why have you brought this trouble on your servant? What I have done to disp displease you that you put the burden of all those people on me. Did I conceive all those people? Did I give them birth? Why do you tell me to carry them in my arms as nurse carries an infant to the land you promise on an oath to their forefathers? Where can I get meat for all those people? It is amazing how Moses confidently questions, to, questions God and cries to God. It is amazing the, how relational Christian God is. But in ch Numbers chapter 11, we get to read, okay, the, your focus verses are from verse 16. We get to read that the Lord said to Moses, Bring me 70 of Israel's elders who are known to you as leaders and officials among the people. Make them come to the tent of the meeting that they may stand there with you. I will come down and speak with you. Lord is saying, bring people to the tent. Okay. I'm going to come down and then I'm going to speak with you there. And he says, I will make, I will take the spirit that is on you and put the spirit on them that they will help you to carry the burden of the people. And then you come, you read it from verse 24 to verse 1. So Moses went out and told people what the Lord had said. said. He brought together 70 of their elders and made them to stand around the tent. Okay? Okay. So I'm in verse 25. Then the Lord came down in the cloud and spoke with them. And he took the spirit that was with him and put the spirit on 70 elders. When the spirit rested on them, they prophesied, but they did not do, they did, they did not do so again. However, mm. however, two men whose name was, whose names were Eldad and Medad, had remained in the camp. They were listed among the elders, but they did not go out of out to the tent. Yet the spirit also rested on them, and they prophesied in the camp. Young man ran and told Moses, Eldad and Medad are prophesying in the camp. Seventy people needs to come to the um, tent where spirit is going to give them gifts. Okay? Two people are not, two people did not come to the tent. But spirit knew who were those two people and filled them they were able to prophesy. They, that already tells me Spirit is all-powerful, all-knowing, and all-present. Spirit knows who are those 70 people. Spirit knows two people didn't come and they were in different places. Yet, Spirit goes and rests on them. Spirit is all-knowing, all-powerful, and all-present. That's the attributes of God, none, no one else. And then you got to read that part until verse, end of verse 29. Okay? So, I'm looking to Old Testament, and I'm seeing in Old Testament, while scripture tells me there is only one God, I see this God is identified as the Word of God, this God is identified as the Spirit of God, and this God is identified as Father. But, People see that as one God, because that's what scripture is telling us. Genesis 19 is another passage for you to check it out, okay? And then Genesis I come... 19. 
Genesis 19. And then I come to New Testament, okay, because Bible is not only one book or one sentence. Christian scripture is completed from Genesis to Revelation. I come to New Testament, which is, starts with the biography of Jesus. And then I put that all together. In a sense, Jesus, the word of God, who becomes flesh and makes his dwelling among us, makes some strange claims. Okay? He says, I was there before Abraham was. He says, I have seen, I have seen fallen angels. And then interesting thing is, he says, father, he says, father was loving me before there was anything, before there was anything. Overall, as I am, like there are lots of other passages, as I am looking at the New Testament and Old Testament together, I am seeing in the New Testament and Old Testament, Jesus is telling me, Jesus is telling me, I want you to honor me the same way you would honor God the Father. I want you to, if you are honoring God the Father by worshiping him, by calling upon his name, I want you to do that to me. Okay? I am looking at the scripture and I'm seeing Jesus has the attributes of God. Jesus talks about Jesus is all knowing, all powerful, all present. He knows what is in the hearts and minds of people. Because he is all powerful, all present, and he gives his eternal, you get to see that he can do deeds only God can do. He gives eternal life. He brings people back to life. He walks on the water. He uh, he does lots of miracles. Oh, okay. Can can I can I confirm one thing actually? I, yeah. I, let I let let, let, let me make two so, more point on that. Let me make two two more point on that. And then I am looking at the New Testament okay. and I'm seeing Jesus is sharing the names of God. All, in Old Testament, God is called Savior. Jesus called Savior. In Old Testament, God is called um, Alpha and Omega, beginning and the last. That is you. That name is also used for Jesus. Ego image. Certain names only used for God. That name is being used for Jesus. And Jesus claims to come from above, come from throne, and he's seated on the throne. I am forced to believe Jesus is identified as God. I am forced to believe that. That's what my scripture is forcing me. And I am looking at this and I'm not surprised because in the Old Testament, Old Testament is pointing me to this Jesus who is going to come and rescue his people. Isaiah chapter 9, Isaiah chapter 53, uh, Isaiah chapter 63, and then it goes on. Isaiah 42. And Jesus makes some very interesting claims as people who wrote his biography. I don't know you, but... Last time when I checked, I cannot give any eternal life. I can't even, if I want, I can't even extend my life. Medical people can't extend my life. Can you give eternal life, sir? Um, uh, you, you what do you mean by life? Can you give eternal life to anyone? Uh, uh, um, I, I can, I can. You can't? Uh, Who can yeah, give can. eternal life? Um, God? Only God. Jesus. Yeah, it's only God who gives eternal life. I can't give eternal life. I am begging medical people to fix me. They can't even fix me. So, like, they can't even extend my life. But Jesus, who was identified as and is identified as the word of God, claims that he gives eternal life. Okay? 
John okay, chapter I think, uh, I mean, John I, chapter I don't have 10. issue with that. I mean, uh, in the New Testament, Jesus definitely is a God. I I I do realize that, but but he is also the Messiah. So my question is, he's he's son of is, God. Is Messiah so Yahweh. I mean, what is the difference between Yahweh and Messiah? What is difference between Yahweh and Messiah? Yeah. So Messiah is the one who comes and then rescues his people. Messiah is the anointed one. Messiah is identified as Lord Jesus Christ. So throughout Old Testament, there are verses after verses pointing people to Messiah. Okay. John chapter 20 summarized that for us. Actually, yes, John chapter 20. So Messiah is also God. Messiah is the eternal son of God. Okay, so so Lord Jesus you, Christ, Lord, so Father is not the Messiah. Spirit is not the Messiah. It is the son who takes the work of Messiah and steps into this world. So in John chapter 20 verse 31 says but those things are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. So, Father is not the Messiah, Spirit is not the Messiah, but it is Lord Jesus Christ is Messiah, the Son is the Messiah. If you remember when I talked um, in uh, when I was reading to you uh, Isaiah 63, I did say, I did say, I did read, read a phrase which was saying, uh, arm of the Lord steps in and rescues his people. So mm -hmm. Isaiah 53 is well known passage which talks about Messiah. Isaiah 53 starts with as the arm of the Lord steps in so arm of the lord is messiah who is a person who steps in and uh, um, he is also the word of god he is also identified as the son of god okay so um uh, you didn't give me your name but i'm gonna still call you mr muslim okay mr muslim can i <laughs> give you that's absolutely fine can I give you two, three passages? Okay. Okay. I want you to read it. Okay. And then during the week, I'm someone who is very flexible. During the week, um, drop me Skype message. Okay. The passages, okay. I give it to you. We talk about those passages. Okay. Actually, it might be more than three passages. Okay. Can you write it down for me? Okay. Are you ready? Ready. Ho Hosea yeah. 11. Sorry, was Hosea 11? Hosea chapter 11. Okay. Isaiah chapter 53. 53. Okay. okay. Those are the two essentials. So I'm going to give you a couple of more. Um, passages and I want you to read them so we will talk about it okay John chapter 10 okay John chapter Exodus chapter 33. Okay. okay. Deuteronomy chapter 
Do you tell me chapter 32? 32. Okay. So, so can you give me the the historical context for Isaiah and why we need to believe Isaiah? No, so I, 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 uh, you, you born into Christian family, and you mm. haven't read the Bible, okay? So what I okay. want you to do is, I want you to look at those passages, read those passages because I'm not gonna feed you with the spoon. I want you to do some hom homework as well, and then we discuss them. Okay. 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 And then once you read them and reflect on them. Um, drop me Skype message and then we have the follow up conversation. Okay. 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 In that case, I'm gonna hang up on you nicely. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank okay. You. I, Thank, I love a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much for are... calling in. And also, um, do check up a couple of the videos on DCCI. Um, uh, I I put I can't remember if I put them with the um playlist but i made a quick video is on jesus is the son of god jesus is um he was he, he was there before the creation um like some doctoral short videos on christian doctrine i'll check them if i they are not if they are not in the playlist i will put them in the playlist you can check them out okay also check anthony rogers videos on dcci you will find them very beneficial Okay. 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 Sure. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you very much yeah. for calling in, sir. Okay. Thank you. See you. See you. Okay. Um, okay. So, first of all, um, can I just again say thank you to Jai for reminding me? Um, Surah 19, verse 88 to 93. That was a like great help. Thank you. Um, so there are lots of, lots of, um, lots of um, Skype calls up here. So I am not sure what's happening in the chat right now. But I will, I will first address the first caller. Uh, where... Okay, first call is calling now. Let me pick the, let me pick up the phone. Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. Who are you? I'm good. No, who are you? What's your who name? Who am I? I'm. Uh, you call me Drake. Um, I think you are getting the impression that I've got lots of time. I play games, but um, I don't have time to play games. Um, no, can you express, I'm not, I'm not. can you please express, and I don't have that much time to waste. So therefore, okay. therefore yeah. just focus on business. So okay, it'll be fast. As, it'll you, be fast. as you called, as you called approximate um, an hour ago, you expressed that you knew what is in my heart. I would love you to tell me that. And then also you were talking about Sharmuta. What is that? Can you please explain those things to me? No, no, that, okay, the second, well, let me start with the second point. That is um, basically what Sharmuta is. It's like, um, why do you think Allah and the angels r ran a train on Prophet Muhammad? Running what? A train. It's like not the train in that sense. It's a different meaning, like ran a train on him. Okay, can you use, can you use the, words which like, i can um, understand yeah no, no it's a bit of it's like a little bit of slang but um okay like i i wouldn't says, i wouldn't know those terms can you just make okay. it uh plain okay. and clear for me okay no i was just saying if you knew stuff about islam you would know because it says it in the quran that allah and the angels ran a train on prophet muhammad because he was you know the best the greatest prophet so are you are you muslim no, I'm a, in between agnostic and atheist. Between agnostic and atheist. Can yeah. you tell me yeah. that can you tell me that Muhammad is false prophet? Well, I can't say that. You cannot say that. They did run so, a train on him, so. So, you cannot say that. Okay, can you give me the Quranic reference for the verse you are talking, sir? Um 
Hold on one second. It is. Uh, actually, hold on. Let me let me find it and I'll call you back. I do get most of times calls where people express, I'm not patient, but um, so far, so far this gentleman is pushing my patience and I'm trying to keep it cool, but I don't think that's going to go for a long time. So apparently the first word um, he used that Shamar Muta uh, is a bad word, <laughs> that bad, bad, bad word. <laughs> don't use that. Um, so that's one of the point and um and i think someone said it is um in Le lebanese um language and then so that's that part let me sorry i'm just okay someone wants to call from france uh Okay, I am. I'm seeing there are a um, couple of messages from before ever I am. I am. Um, that's a that's a different topic which I will be looking into. That if that's okay, with you. let me take this call. Hello. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who are you, sir? Uh, my name is John. John. How can yeah. I help you, sir? Are you Muslim? Are you Christian? I'm Chinese. You are Chinese. Yeah. Can you can you answer this question for are, me? Are, you, are you Muslim or are you Christian, sir? I'm Chinese. Uh, that's that's. I am asking you religion thing. Are you wanna, Muslim? Are you Christian? Are you atheist? I want to become a Christian. You want to become a Christian? What is your religion yeah. now? Can you Chinese? What is your religion now? Chinese. My religion is Chinese. Your religion is Chinese. Yeah. Can you can you help me? Last I, time, I last time help. when I checked, Chinese is not a religion. So, are you Muslim? Can, can, can you please help me? I, I have some questions. Sir, are you Muslim? Can you help me? I have some questions. I, I love to I love to help you because Lord Jesus Christ already helped you. But before for okay, me to move forward, please. before can you for please me to help me forward. Can you tell can you me that? Help me. You're talking. Can you tell me that Muhammad question. is false prophet? Help me. Can you tell me Muhammad is false prophet, please? I can tell you that Muhammad has has had sex with you. You agree with that? No. Muhammad didn't have sex with me, but is Muhammad false prophet? How can you prove that he hasn't had sex with you? Is Muhammad false prophet? Who gives a fuck if it's? I, I, I'm asking you questions. Is, Mo is Muhammad false prophet? Is your vagina false? Hmm. You're a is, dumb, dumb human. Can you answer questions? Is Muhammad false prophet? Is your vagina false? Is Muhammad false prophet? Is your vagina false? So as those of you who can recognize the voice, you do recognize the voice, I am sure some Yeah, will... Nate. You are Someone... fucking it. Answer questions, you stupid dumb cunt. Can you answer questions? Can you please tell me for conversations to move forward? Sir, can yeah. you tell me Muhammad is false prophet? I can say that you are a dumb cunt. Do you want to move on now? Can you Let's tell me Muhammad on. is false prophet? I can say to you, you are a dumb piece of shit. Can you move on, please? I think I think I think as you look at me, you see Muhammad, but I am not Muhammad. So therefore, no, Muhammad is can, you, can you ex You're can you can you tell me that Muhammad is false like prophet? Can you tell me Muhammad is so false prophet for us to move forward, sir? Yeah, we can move forward. I'm telling you, you are a dumb piece of shit. Can we move on, please? And those of you who are uh, at speakers, Kuro, you recognize you, the voice. Jesus this is the this is the voice of the gentleman who a couple of Don't times. Blah, 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 blah. You stupid. Answer the question. Can you answer the question? So this is the gentleman who, uh, Can you answer the who question? You took my you materials a couple of times. He's behind the camera. He's the gentleman Not who took the my. You're, 
who took I'm my laminated what... paper regarding the variations in the Quranic manuscripts. Nah, 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 nah. Stupid, you're dumb. You hear it. Answer the fucking question. You cannot answer the question. You keep saying stuff like stupid dumb. Can answer you... the question. You haven't asked me the question. Can you tell me Muhammad is false prophet? And then we move okay. forward. What are, explain me. What are the property of that which was sacrificed when he died? Describe the property, please. Sir, I am very much the aware property, that you are... Please, please. I am very much aware that Can you are you trying to change your voice. Can you me, fucking demon? I am very much aware that you are trying to change your... I am very much aware that you are trying to change. He's not a drunk. He's a Muslim from Speaker's Corner. And we already, we already know who he is. Stupid Christian who don't, who don't know the Bible. I am smart. You cannot, you, cannot, you cannot play with me, you stupid idiot. I am not Muhammad. You are dumber. You are dumber than Nate. Please express your emotions. It will help you if you uh, seek out your emotions to me on the live stream. I am sure it it will help you to not beat your wife. Please pour out your emotions, Please, and then from that we, we will have a healthy conversation. If you are here you are for the health conversation, you are not even a human. You stupid fuck. You are a dog. According to Jesus, you are a dog. You are idiot. You are the one who's talking. So, I guess now you uh, pour down your emotions. Can you please tell me Mohammed is false prophet and then we move forward with our discussion yes. or if you want yes. to have I'm discussion. I'm telling you, according to Matthew, you are a dog. Can we please move on now? Can you please evolve? Become a human. I know that Jesus said you are a dog and you are behaving like a dog. But you don't have to be a dog. You are human. I'm telling you, you're human. Don't listen to Jesus. He's dumb. Now, please, can you talk something? You are not a dog. Is Muhammad false prophet, sir? A dog, according to Jesus. Are you? I'm talking to a dog. Why you are behaving like a dog? Please, I, be I, am, I am grateful. I am grateful you that dog? you know the language of the dog that you can speak to a dog. Um, <laughs> if you are okay, let me call my black Labrador. Which you can, which you can speak to him. I am sure you will be you speaking the same language. Um, please express your emotions so we move on. Like seek them yes, all I'm in once, and then we, we move, move on. Yes, yeah, can we move on, please? Don't behave like a dog, please. From the love of God, I know that you are. I know that you, you believe a God who raped a child, but don't please, don't, be, don't behave, don't follow a dog. Don't be like a dog. Demon, you, you, you follow a God who became a sperm, a semen. That's mad. I worship a God who thought I was worthy enough. No, 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 no. You who did not God turn up as a king. He did not turn up as a king. He did not turn up as a warrior. He turned up as a vulnerable baby, lived among us, gave himself for us. I worship that God. And it's not only he turned up as a baby, learned how to walk, needed his mom, cried. And that God, that God, gave for people like me and I cannot express I cannot express my feelings and my thoughts how amazing how glorious how gracious how wonderful how delightful my God is yet a Muslim from speakers corner simply thinks it's all right that he can have a fun with my God. He can make fun of my God. And those are the same people who was simply calling death of me at Speaker's Corner. I find it's very much loving, very much loving. Um, 
So that's on that's kind of on that. And now you know that this voice. You know this voice. This is the followers of this beautiful man called Muhammad. He's so beautiful. His beauty just passes his followers. Remember, everyone must submit to him fully. Surah 465. And followers of him is simply submitting him fully. Don't you just love that language? Don't you just love the language? So now, um, yes, I was looking at the messages came from um, before Abraham. I am. And um, there are different topics in the messages you send. I will. I think we already did live streams about all those topics, but we can touch them again in coming in coming um, days. Sorry, I need to change my screen. Um, um, if there is, if there is any um, one in the chat have any question, I can take your questions. Um, It's already been two hours. Uh, <laughs> please, please, please. You cannot convert to other religions or sorry, other countries or other languages because my crucified and risen Lord is so beautiful. He's so delightful. Every time as you read his word, there is something sweet in your hearts towards him. Therefore, you cannot give him up. He will never give you up. You cannot convert other languages. Lord Jesus Christ, who is so delightful, he will never never give you up so um there is something this is yeah actually i'm not patient you can see i'm not patient um while i see our talk blog on the chat um so he is um a gentleman who is scheduled scheduled to have a debate with Anthony Rogers. Anthony Rogers in um uh, in coming days on I think it was the tenth of October. So please watch out for that one. Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. Who are you? Yes. Um, you asked me to find the uh, first, right? Um, what verse was that, sir? Remind us. Why, why, um, I don't understand why. Why are you recording? Why I'm recording? You are calling into the live stream, sir. Pardon? You are calling into the live Pardon? stream and live. it's been live streamed on YouTube right now. Oh. oh. Yeah, you asked me to find a verse, right? So what was the verse you were looking for? Okay, so did you... Um, did you did you guys find out what the um the meaning of running a train is? I thought you were gonna give me the reference so it will make sense to me. Okay. So well, I don't know those I don't know okay, those I'll kind of languages. So can you give me the reference? Okay, it's a phrase that people use like basically like Pro uh, Prophet Muhammad um, worships Allah and the angels, so he does whatever they say, right? So Prophet Muhammad. Did you get that part so far? The, Muhammad worships Allah yeah, and angels. Yes. And that is interpreted as he's running the train. So that that's yeah, that's why they run a train on him because he'll do whatever they say. Okay, give that's me the, why they give say me the reference the because still, still that phrase doesn't make sense to me because um as I told you I am um my first language is Turkish and you can see my English is very much broken and I wouldn't know those kind of languages because 
I don't spend my time to learn those kind of vocabularies. Can you um, point me to Quranic verse? So it, it probably will make sense to me once when I read it. Well, I was like a Muslim told me about it. I'm not sure the exact verse. But you hang up previous call to go and find the reference and you yeah, called I was in looking for it, by but, um, saying you I, got I tried to get a hold of the guy, but it was um he wasn't answering. Okay, why but don't it just you... shows you how you know great the prophet was. Yeah, he was so great. He was so great. He was so well, great you he have thought a prophet? he was he was so great he thought it was all right to drop the caravans. He was so great. He he thought it was all right to order people to rape others in front of their husband. He was so great. He married a child. He was so great. He um, yeah, broke a marriage and Trima. married his so. daughter-in-law. He was so great that he broke his oaths. He was so great that he cheated on his wives. He was so great that he divorced his wives. He was just so great. And of course, he was so great that he beat his wife. But I think, um, I think this is where my English, not. I think this is where my English fails because um, I am using the great in an Islamic sense, which doesn't meet with the Oxford Dictionary sense. So, um, have you got anything useful to share with us, sir? I really well, don't have time to play. You said that he he beat his wife. I I don't think so he, he beat his wife. Sahih Muslim 21-27 Muhammad strike Aisha on her chest which caused him pain. Does your father beat your mom? Does my father? Yeah, does your father beat your mom? No, no. No. no what would you no. say a man who beats his wife? Um. Well, someone that I knew or... Does it matter if you know the person or not? What would you think about someone who beat his wife? Um, I would think, you know, he's um, probably uh, uh, probably a coward. What is the number you would call when you heard that someone beat his wife? The number? Yeah. I, I don't think... I, well, if I didn't know them, yes, I would call a number. But uh... Would you call the police? Would you call if, the if social service that knew... you heard you heard that Mr. Mohammed beat his wife, Mrs. Aisha? Would you no, make a I phone call that. for that? Where's that? I already gave you the reference, sir. Oh yeah, okay, that's the one. Oh, what was about. the reference? Could you repeat it again? What was the reference I gave you, sir? I I I couldn't hear you when you said it. Okay, so. That already shows you your attention is not here. Please call me once you find out the trains are running um, for Mohammed stuff, that um, silly comment, and which you think it is so much funny. Uh, and call me once you, once you kind of give me the definition of the grade. And next time when you call, please remember, um, yes, I'm very flexible for those who do not know Lord Jesus Christ and his love. But that doesn't mean you can call in and simply just waste my time. Life is too short. And I want to... And he, he sends me a message, by the way, that this gentleman who talks about running the trains, which is apparently a bad word, call me when you are ready. I want to discuss how little you know about Islam. Here's the message. And look, I've got amazing. This brother is going to get fired. Nothing personal, but this brother is going to get fired. Because someone, without any shame, just send me what is running trains means. Running the trains means multiple sex partners at once. And what kind of brother do you are fired. Let me just take this. Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. Who are you? Ah, um, my name is Fabrice, 
And uh, I'm calling from France, Paris. Uh, are you Muslim? Are you Christian, sir? No, uh, I'm I'm Christian. I'm Christian. I'm um, Christian, but and um, I would like to talk um, with you about um, some uh, divisions uh, between Christian. You know, because uh, there are many divisions between uh, Christian about the. Um, the nature of uh, of the Christ. Um, there is no divisions between Christians regarding the nature of Christ, sir, because by definition, for you to be Christian, you must believe the Triune God. You must believe that Jesus is God Man, who gave His life on the cross. And if there is a division on this, the person one side doesn't share that view. They are not identified as. Christians, but let me give you one verse which might help uh, you, sir. Uh, maybe first, can I can I explain my 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 opinion, uh, please, about this? My, uh, I, I, it's not my opinion, but uh, my understanding of the Bible. So, are you Christian? Yeah, I'm Christian. What I do was, you? I, 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 basically, I was born Catholic. But I uh, I disagree with uh, this um, uh, this form of uh, of belief uh, because I think it's uh, it's against uh, against the um, against the Bible uh, basically because uh, um, so I, I me for me uh, the Trinity is. Uh, it's not the the, the face of uh, what what it's 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 not what the Bib the Bible uh, teach us, because uh, I I disagree with uh, with the Trinity. I don't uh, care I don't care you disagree with Trinity or not, but stating yeah, that I, Bible doesn't teach that it is simply false. Please yeah. just go back go back to beginning of this live stream where I brought up the passages. That, okay. Uh, can, can, can I, can sir, I, sir, excuse I, me. Can excuse me. Focus. Okay. Put your yeah. focus face right now. Okay. Put your focus ears right now. Okay. So, okay. approximate um, an hour ago, I spoke to a gentleman and then I gave him a couple of verses on Trinity. For you okay. two, within okay. two hours, 17 minutes, 31 seconds, calling in and okay. telling me you do not disagree with Trinity is simply gives me your lack of knowledge okay okay but, and you okay. can it is it is up to you you disagree or you don't disagree it is what the okay. bible teaches okay? yeah yeah okay. and then I, I gave you i gave you i gave in the to the previous caller the references can you be extra kind and then watch that part and then also i mentioned a couple of videos and then passages please do, do watch them and then call me after that is that okay yeah, it's okay, but I I, I, I saw the, the this video with a guy uh, from uh, Indonesia. I saw it and I uh, understood what you said, okay? And um, I, I agree with you, but I can show you uh, other words um, which disagree with uh, what you what you um, you said, you know? Okay, so... so I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you time to give me the other verses, but before for us to move forward, because okay. you, you said you were, you were Catholic and now you disagree with Catholic, um, okay. Catholicism. Can you just be double kind and then tell me Muhammad is false prophet, Allah is false God, Quran is false book, Mo Islam is false Mo religion? Muhammad, Muhammad, Muhammad is false prophet, uh, um, Allah is false God, and uh, the Quran is a false book. Islam is false religion? Islam is a false religion. Okay, that might be to Surah 328, but please do make your case now, sir. Okay, okay. So, uh, can I can I talk now? Please do make your case. That uh, that means, I I I I can I can talk. Okay, is it? Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, so, okay, uh, if. We Take Bible uh, in. Um, sorry, I will. 
open my Bible. In, it is in French, in French, but I will uh, make it in English. Uh, uh. So I I believe okay I believe uh, that um, uh, Jesus is the Son of God okay and uh, uh, we can say Jesus is uh, is um, uh, is um, is also God but not God the Father is God the Son and uh, so. Um, That, that that means uh, the holy uh, they are connected by the Holy Spirit, okay? Because Jesus is the the Word of God, so he's connected with the Father by 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 his Spirit, the Spirit of the of, uh, of the Father, okay? So um, Jesus uh, 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 had done many things, but uh, because of his Father, that means. Uh, uh, the Father, God the Father, um, allowed him to do uh, these things, okay? It, it wasn't uh, uh, at uh, his own, okay? So, um, uh, Philly, uh, no, it's, uh, we do it in English. So, Sir. Uh, yeah, Sir. okay. Listen, yeah? listen, listen very carefully, okay? Okay, okay. Um, give me verse for the every okay. statement you make. Okay, I give so, you the. You identify the Jesus as the Son of God. Okay. okay. What is the biblical reference for that? You identify that Jesus is not the Father. What is the biblical reference for that? Which I do agree okay. with these two statements. And okay. you you say they are connected by the Spirit of the Father. Okay. Give me the biblical reference for that. Okay. And then everything you say, give me the reference. Okay. Uh, so, um, um, can, can I, can I, 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 I will, I will do, um, uh, sorry, it should be very simple for you to just bring up the references. Yeah, I know. I've been waiting but, uh, the call. No, You've been yeah. waiting to call. Those those things should be in your hand. Yeah, uh, I have it, but my uh, I have a, a little bit uh, a, a, a little problem with my my laptop. So uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, uh, Miss so Atul. Um, it is. It becomes sometimes it becomes um, difficult um, to engage when um, you ca you cannot bring the references which you've been waiting to make I, a call. So, okay. uh, one of the thing I can propose you, sir. Okay. Um, yeah. Why don't okay. you Why don't you um, put your references together and then make the call for another live stream? For another or for okay. another live stream? You want another live stream? Okay. Okay. So you. Okay. So if you if you want if if you mean. It's uh, the better. It's a better solution. Okay. Um, it's it, it, it when I, I mean, I like for you to just find the references and then put them together. If it's gonna take time, ideally, ideally you want to put all the references take, together, think through take, what I, you are gonna I, say, I, I and already, then call, I say what you want to say with the references. Okay. Okay, please uh, excuse me, but uh, it won't uh, take time because uh, I have it already. But uh, I have a, a little problem, but uh, I I will I fix it in maybe in ten minutes where if you want. Um, I'm not sure. Um, let me check the time. I'm not sure if I will be live in ten minutes. But if I am okay. live, do call because it's been two hours twenty four second twenty four minutes nineteen second. I've been live. That's already like. Okay. Um, too long. Okay, okay. Maybe, maybe. Okay. Uh, I think it's it's better for me to call it uh, for another uh, another show, so we can talk uh, about it. Yeah, that's fine, sir. Okay. Thank you for okay. Uh, having. Okay. Bye, bye, sir.
How is life in the chat? Of course, I need my beauty sleep. And clearly, my beauty sleep never works. You heard the language Muslims were using towards me. I need to rise up my games. I need to, I don't know, uh, get some tips from maybe daughter of Christ or someone. But before that, I was going to tell you, I am going to, I'm thinking to fire this brother who sent me the message about what is running the train means. I'm very disappointed a Christian brother knows what is that word. Not very good, not, not very, very, very good at all. Anyway, I can take a um, couple of questions or comments from the chat. Um, <sighs> Or I can put, I can put that clip on again. We can laugh a little bit. Is that okay? Let Let's just put that one. How are you? Another beautiful day in Dublin. Listen, I was in town earlier on, and I was in Dawn's, and I picked up this of fly killer, and I said to the uncle who was packing the shelves, I said, "Is this any good for wasps?" No, he said, "It kills them." <laughs> I love Dublin. <laughs> I think this is just like so funny. <laughs> anyway, it is funny. It is funny. Um. Okay. <laughs> now we did our laughing as well. Did, did I have any question? Um. There was. Um, apparently that train thing is not very nice things so be careful where you use where you use how much you use that word um, okay so I am assuming uh, I am assuming, sorry, my Skype is like, sometimes you put the Skype on, the moment it turns blue. Let me just share. Let me just share some. Something with you. So this is the gentleman who was talking about this is the gentleman who was talking about the trains. And he thinks, he thinks in my free times, I figure out what kind of language is out there. And then I work them out. And then he's guessing I knew the train rides Mohammed was having. But um, that might be if that is the context which a brother just sent me through text. Maybe it is talking about Surah 66. Remember, Hafsa comes and then sees uh, Muhammad in her bed with Mary. That might be the dad. That might be the dad. But anyway, um, I can take one more question if there is any question from the chat, actually. And then if there is no question from chat, there is no comment from chat, um, I've got the right couple of papers I need to get on them. Um, then I will let you go and have a little bit fun. Um, Jesus did not only die for my sins. Jesus died so that I can declare righteousness. Jesus died so I can 
spend my eternity with God. Jesus died so that I can be reconciled to God. Jesus died so that I can be forgiven. And this is not in any form or any shape. This, <laughs> this is not in any form or any shape. You just go and do whatever you want to do. Because it cost life to eternal Son of God. It cost Father to see his son died. It is very much costly. You look up the cross and you see what God did for you. Therefore, your heart is already being sweetened towards him. You can't just go and do whatever you want to do. You want to do the things. Your heart simply desires the things you, you do that those things honor our God. That's that's what it is. So, even though I've got the right couple of even though I've got to go and write a couple of paper, I believe some of you need beauty slips. As you can see, beauty slips are not working on me, but I'll get some tips on that. Um, let me just say thank you very much for joining us on another live stream. I'm sorry that I have to say that, but I don't really feel I that emotion of sorry. I'm sorry that if you if that was another live stream that you got disappointed and disappointed. Um, but I'm just trying to do the conclusion statements. And beloved ones, you are just like putting those comments. I'm just getting distracted. Look, brother Phil can't even get a beauty slip because he knows God made him wonderfully and beautiful. He doesn't need beauty slip. That is what we call who are confident in their identity. That is something we all need to take example. He helps us to see how um, gracious and glorious our God is. But anyway, um, thank you very much, everyone who joined us on live stream. And we will see you, by the grace of God, tomorrow in a live stream where we will be talking with uh, corruption in the land with the Rob Christian. So that's eight o'clock tomorrow evening with Rob Christian's corruption in the land. Dear Muslims, while you are still breathing, while you are still thinking, reflecting, able to read, hold your hands, do things, you still have time. That means take that time to come to Lord Jesus Christ. Take that time to bow down to Lord Jesus Christ and identify him as the eternal son of God. Because we don't want it to be too late. And beloved ones, may my risen Lord silent you with his love. And dear admin, uh, beloved ones in the admin, thank you very much for all your work over there sometimes i can get to see it's out of control but you are doing amazing work so really really appreciate and i do not verbalize that enough but i do appreciate that so thank you very much god bless you all we will see you tomorrow evening with rob christian